It's interesting stuff. Yeah. Now, generations of people will have fond memories of going there. Huge queues used to be seen outside, and it's been called an historical treasure. Yes, but these days it's run down and used as storage space. However, all that might change, thanks to a group of County Durham campaigners. Jonathan Swingler reports. A car park shop in Crook may be handy if you've damaged a wing mirror or need new disc pads. But venture further back and there's something rather special. Yeah, as we can see that uh, we're here in, uh, inside the cinema on the stage area. This is the original proscenium. It was called the Empire Electric Palace Theatre. Pictures haven't been projected onto a big screen here since 1968. Then in the 70s and 80s, it was a bingo hall. Campaigners are desperate to bring it back to life. If we don't do it, we'll lose it. Um, it, it could face demolition. Uh, it's, it's something that uh, we think is historical importance. There's not many of these type cinemas left. Uh, a lot of them have gone. There's only three of, of this architect's, of his examples, left. There's a lot of them in London and places like that, but not in the north. It's going to cost over a million pounds to restore it, but there will be something for everybody. We can be a cinema, we can be a music club, we can be a comedy club, um, theatres, um, drama groups, sports events, pretty much whatever you can do with an open space, we are planning on being able to do here as well. Will it get used though? I'd go because it's Crook, it's hometown, it's the one my grandparents went to. I think it's uh, something that's been missing, there's been no cinema near us uh, since the one at Bishop Auckland closed and that was maybe 20 odd years ago. The campaign group has around 100 members. They say if they get more support, there will be a big screen here once more. Jonathan Swingler, BBC Look North, Crook.